Lisa's cookie jar contains the following. Five peanut butter cookies, 10 oatmeal raisin, 12 chocolate chip, and eight sugar cookies. If Lisa randomly selects one cookie from this jar, what is the probability she gets a peanut butter cookie? Again, probability is simply the number of ways that our scenario can happen. So in this case, the number of peanut butter cookies in the jar divided by the number of total possibilities for what could happen. So the total number of cookies. So all we have to do is count the number of cookies in total, divide the number of peanut butter cookies by that, and that's our probability. If there are five peanut butter, 10 oatmeal raisin, 12 chocolate chip, and eight sugar cookies, that's a total of 35 if we add up those four numbers. And there are five peanut butter cookies, so the probability of drawing a peanut butter cookie is five out of 35. The number of ways that can happen divided by the total number of possibilities. Once we have that, we can either leave the answer this way or we can simplify the fraction to one seventh or write it as a decimal or a percentage. Again, any one of them is fine as long as we get the right number.